It was this a is hard pass, Kyle. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. I mean, they do cook it. You think if, a, black, you. if a white person say black people like fried chicken, is that racist? It, it's supposed to be. That's not racist. Because most black people do. Hmm? You want to start from the top or start from the bottom? Uh, you know more about UFC than me. Is that this fight card? Yeah, Saturday. this mess look trash. Well, the no, it's not trash. It's not. This is a really good fight card. You sure? I'm positive. I know Ian Gary. Yeah, I know. That's what that's I'm saying. it. When when I mean, you only see two. Uh, the the main so the main event was supposed to be who was it? Ah, I can't remember who it was, but it was supposed to be. A main event, and then they fell out, and then they had to put this at the top because it's the only other championship fight. But everybody's looking more forward to the co-main co event than the main that's event. That's a fact. But that's Ian. the championship fight, so they got to put that at the main event. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I guess. Well, you think if those fights switched that people would still tune in? Well, Can people I be probably honest? still would, but the whole point is, whenever you build a pay per view card, it has to be a championship. Let me say this. Main event. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. If those two, if those two, Ian and uh, the other guy, mm -hmm. if that was a championship fight, which one would would be bumped to the main event? Oh, yeah, yeah, that would be them for sure. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, that's all I'm saying. No, but see, that's the thing. Yeah, because they thought about making that an interim uh, championship fight, and then they could have made it the main event, but. Just start the videos, right? All right. Well, I thought we already did. Because some of that was kind of good. <coughs> All right. So. Shout out to Ian Gary. UFC 310. Yeah. A Alexandre Pantoja versus Kai Asakura. Yes, uh. Kai Asakura is new from uh, Japan. Yeah. Uh, he said, Drake said, I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, you ain't got, got no follow up to that. You just want to yeah, quote his Drake line. Yeah, I just want to quote his Drake line. I'm sorry. Yeah. Shout out to Kyle. He might bet on this fight. Yeah. You think so? No, nah, I doubt it. I bet you, though, I would bet $100,000 that Kai. As a girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That he cook a better fried rice than Alexander. Uh, of course. Alexander Pantoja, he's so Brazil. So it would be an easy win, right? But, but I bet uh, Alexander Pantoja cook a better steak than uh mm. You ever heard of Brazilian steak? You got me. Yeah. You got me. Got you there. You got me. Got you there. <laughs> you <said laughs> All right. So, uh, I'm going to go <coughs> Pantoja on this one. And I think the only person that can beat Pantoja is Kai Car France. I got Pantoja, too. All right. Now we're getting to the real stuff. The good stuff. Shaft Cat Ratmanoff versus Ian Gary. Why is Ian Gary plus 300? Because Shaft Cat Ratmanoff is a beast. I got Ian. I got Shaft Cat taking Trader. him. Trader. Taking him out. Trader. Trader. I didn't I, I didn't uh All right. think highly of Ian Gary in his last fight. And I thought I still thought he would have won, but I didn't think highly of him in it. I got Ian. All right. <laughs> Cyril Gunn. You had watched the John Jones John Jones fight when he fought Cyril Gunn? Was that his last fight? Cyril Gunn. Yeah, that was. That was his last that couldn't have been his last fight. It, yeah, it couldn't have been. Sorry, Siri. I didn't even <laughs> talk to you. Uh but yeah, he he might have fought after that, but I don't think he did though. But he he's fighting Alexander Volkov. The Alexander Volkov that showed up in his last fight, it, it could be competitive, he but I beast. think Cyril Gone is a little too loose on the feet, too elusive. I got gone. I got gone taking him out. Does Gone have a nickname? Serial Gone. I think they call him Cerebral. Should we call him the serial killer? Mm -hmm. You heard it here first on Hard Pass. <laughs> this is Hard Pass, Joe. That's it. I, I I got gone. All right, all right, same. Bryce Mitchell is back, and he's taking on Cron Gracie. I got Bryce. Yeah, I, Bryce. same, same. I the all the times that I saw Cron Gracie fight, man, it was it was a disaster. Yeah, I feel you on that. Uh, Nate Land, where Nate the Train, Nate the Train. That's what he calls himself. That's a terrible nickname. Dude. He a real country dude too. It's a terrible nickname. But yeah, uh, he fighting Doohu Choi. Doohu Choi has disappointed me too many times. Yeah. I, I'm going Nate the Train. That's all day. a fact. I'm going Nate USA. Let's go USA, brother. I got. Go ahead first. Dominic Reyes versus Anthony Smith. I got Anthony Smith. 
<sighs> I got Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith has disappointed me too many times. Dominic Reyes legit beat John Jones, and they gave the decision to John Jones. So I'm hoping that Dominic Reyes is back. I'm going Dominic Reyes. I got Anthony Smith, man. He's going to have a great 2025. I got <laughs> Anthony Smith. All right, Vicente Luque versus Simba Grimble. I think Vicente Luque is done, and I think he should retire. I'm going Thimba Grimbo. I think uh, Ricardo Clyde, a.k.a. Richard, already know who I got. I'm going Thimba. <laughs> All right. Uh, Marzai Evloev versus Aljamain Sterling. Mm-hmm. It ain't often that I pick against Aljamain Sterling, and this ain't one of them times right mm-hmm. here either. I'm picking Aljo. Ricardo Clyde, a.k.a. Richard, know who I got. <laughs> Aljamain Sterling. Oh, this the one. How is this on the prelims, bro? Mm-hmm. How is this on the prelims? Randy Brown, Randy Ruboy Brown, that's what he likes to go by, versus Brian the Butcher Battle. He used to go by Brian Pooh Bear Battle, but now he's Brian the Butcher Battle. Now, let me tell you where he's from. Where he from? North Carolina. Oh yeah, yeah. We went to see him fight. Remember? In Charlotte. Yeah, that's a fact. The crowd yeah. favorite. Yeah, that yeah. night. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going Brian Battle all day. I hope Ricardo Clyde give me some grace. Hey, shout out to Brian Battle. Matter of fact, I got Brian Battle. The last time when he fought in Charlotte, we uh, picked him, and then I uh, clipped up the video. I put it on my uh, Instagram, and he reposted it to his Instagram. Was that the main event? No, no, no. He was on the. Uh, I don't know if he was the prelims or the main card, but either way it go, he was. It on. had to be. I think it was the main card, card yeah, because yeah. he was from there. Shout out to him though. Yeah, the crowd went crazy. Crazy. For him. Crazy. Yeah, so I, I started to cheer. Brian Battle. Yeah, that's it. And then, oh, it was just like that because <laughs> that's uh, it. Buddy rushed him, but yeah, I'm going Brian Battle all day. Yeah, that's my uh, dog right there. Yeah, for Lord. sure. For sure. Chris Weidman versus Eric Anders. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. It's a bad fight, man. This is the worst <laughs> fight on the card. <coughs> Who you got? I, I'm gonna have to go Chris Wyman. I'm, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go Chris Wyman. It, it's a hard pick because both of them don't meet the requirements most of the time, but I'm going Chris Wyman. I ain't got no dog in this fight. <laughs> and, and Ricardo Clyde Noah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cody Durden versus Joshua Van. I'm actually so glad that they're giving him a ranked opponent, Joshua Van, because he's really good and he deserves to be in the top 15. So I'm going Joshua Van, and uh, I think that the, he took a fight on short notice, and he did really well in that fight, but he ended up getting caught. I'm going Joshua Van. Sorry, Cody Durden. I do like Cody Durden, but I, I'm going Joshua Van on this one. Uh, man, I don't know, honestly. I want to say Joshua Van, but when I look at Cody, I can see in his eyes, he don't play game. <laughs> so, my heart is telling me Joshua, my mind is telling me Cody. Which, Which one are you going to go with? I'm asking you, should I trust my heart or my mind? Well, being that we picking, I think you should go with your mind. I got Cody. Let's go. First round knockout. Dang. No, I got Cody. Oh, wait. What's going on here? Oh, for some reason, they don't... Oh, okay, it's got him one and one. So, Michael Chiesa versus Maxim Griffin. I got Griffin. Yeah, I'm going Max Griffin all day. Shout out to Griffin. And then we got... I got Gudea. Oh, Gudea. wait. Why Clay Guida? All right, this is weird. Clay Guida versus uh, Chase Hooper. Chase Hooper ain't got no hands, but if he can grab Clay Guida, I think he could do a good job. I got Guida. All right, I'm going. Uh, I'm going Chase Hooper. And the fight to open the card: Kennedy Nezichuku versus Lucas. I don't know how you say his last name. Bresky. Yeah, that sounds about right. I got uh, Kennedy. Yeah, I'm going Kennedy also. Um, I think. I think. I think he finally hit stride up where at uh, heavyweight. I, I I'm going Kennedy. Neza I Chukwu. got Kennedy too. Neza Chukwu. Ricardo Clyde, no why. You gonna ever tell the fans? Shout out to Festus. 
Hey, drop down in the comments. Let us know what, if y'all disagree with our picks or agree with our picks and who y'all got. Uh, yeah, main event. We got uh, Alexander Pantoja. And co-main event, we got, uh, well, he got Ian Gary, and I got Rackmanoff. We gonna see.